Sup, y'all, I'll bring you guys another video. So, to those who don't know, Bakodir Jalolov recently fought against Kamil Salo Sakalowski on the 18th of March, Friday, March 18th, over in uh, the UAE in Dubai. Um, fight was scheduled for, I believe, eight rounds, and uh, it lasted five rounds with uh, Bakodir Jalolov, the uh, gold medalist from the 2020 Olympic Games. Ended up winning the fight by TKO in round number five, um, giving Sokolowski his, what, 25th loss. Um, I honestly did not see the full fight. Uh, I tried to find it Friday. I don't know. Maybe it's here on YouTube by now. I honestly just don't have time right now to watch the whole entire fight anyway. But based on the clips that I've seen of it, it looks like it was a pretty dominant win from Jalolov. But the stoppage, uh, kind of questionable. It looks like Sokolowski was still kind of live. I mean, obviously, it looks like he was going to he was gonna get hurt anyway and, and get knocked out, in my opinion. Um, you know, Sokolowski got, got immediately. He got dropped twice in round number five. Um, I've read reactions to it on social media. Some say that it was stopped too, too early. Some to say it was a good stoppage because Sokolowski would have gotten hurt and he you know he would have be taking unnecessary punishment at that point. Um, the way I look at it, based on what I've seen, um, I thought you know Jalolo was on his way to winning. So in my opinion, Sokolowski would have just been if the referee let the fight continue, Sokolowski would have gotten knocked completely out or even hurt more. So um, you know the ref stopping the fight. Was a good one. It's not like Sokolowski had a chance anyway. Uh, at least in my opinion. I didn't think he really had much of a chance to begin with. Um, so, good win for Jalolov, who now improves to, uh, I believe, 10 0. Yep, 10 0. 10 wins coming by way of knockout TKO, uh, keeping that 100% knockout ratio. Uh, start keeping an eye on him. He's somebody to pay attention to. Dude is 6'7. Six, 6'7 seven. Six, seven with almost an 80 inch reach. He moves really fast for heavyweight. Like I said, he's a former Olympian, former gold medalist in the 2020 Olympic Games. And definitely, definitely a future world champion in my opinion. No doubt in my mind, a future world champion. Based on what I've seen of him already, and looking at the heavyweight division, and how the heavyweight division will look a few years from now, uh, I, I think Jalolo definitely has what it takes to become a world champion. Hopefully, uh, Probellum Promotions, Richard Schaefer, and... Uh, you know all those guys behind Probellum uh, promotes him properly and puts the right people in front of him. Fighting guys like Kamil Sokolowski, who, by the way, suffered his 26th loss, not 25th, 26th. Um, you know it, it keeps him busy, yes, but it doesn't really help him to be honest. I mean, I know Sokolowski is coming off a good fight against Otto Wallin back in uh, February, but, but uh, you know. It, it would be nice to see uh, Jalolo be on the fast track to fighting for a world title. Honestly, I think I think he's ready to fight top competition, top 20 guys, and hopefully that's who he fights next in his next fight. He had a, a pretty busy. Oh, well, he only fought twice last year. That's only that's mainly because he had to compete in the uh, Olympic Games. But hopefully, um, you know, hopefully he he has a busier year 2022. And hopefully he finishes the year off at 14 and 0 or 15 and 0, and next year fights for a world title. I honestly think he's ready. I think he's ready. Maybe not next year, but maybe two years from now. But time will tell. I mean, he's definitely one of the future guys to keep an eye on. So start paying attention now. So, uh, so yeah, pay attention. <laughs> anyway, good stuff. Good fight for Jalolo. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.